all those particular objects that get checked, which enable you to have access to that particular transaction. Now, there's about, last count, I think it was about 2,500 authorization objects. I don't even know how many transactions there are now. Like thousands. I think someone would know well, how many how many transactions are there. 10,000 10, plus. <laughs> and you can get this from STC. Excellent. <laughs> 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 Different <Which> languages. <laughs> and yeah, and just English. Yeah, yeah but it is over 10,000. I thought it was about 12, 13. I, I, I give up because every time there's more transactions and depending on what bolt on to get into SAP, there's even more transactions. Um, and it's about 2,500 authorization objects that you can pick that check if you're got the privileges to do this function or not. So there's a combination of those. And in each authorization object are fields like activity. And activity is basically can you create, change, display, or delete this particular record. Um, it's other field that, fields that can represent an organizational level like company code or a plant or a, a warehouse um, or a bin location. So there's thousands of these combinations. So it was very difficult to try and build it up previously without this tool. 